Hi everybody, Sandy Baker here from the Sea Care Institute in Singapore. Uh, today we're going to be covering the, the main aspects about this downstream treater, Ling Shin, uh, also known as BY100D. Today we're going to be covering some safety aspects and also the basic procedures for operation. So this is a very versatile treater. Uh, it can treat a wide range of crops such as corn, uh, rice, cotton, wheat uh, and some other crops as well. The capacity of this treater ranges from 10 to 50 kg of seeds. It really depends on the type of seed you're using as the shape and size may differ. So never treat less than 10 kg as this is not recommended with this type of equipment and you may lose a lot of chemical within the, the size of the treater. Now I'll go over the main components of this treater. So the main compartment here is where the seeds are treated. So that's where you're gonna put your seeds eventually. Uh, on the top here we have a lid, so we should never have this open while treating. We also have some latches on the top. So these are to secure the, the lid in position so the lid doesn't move while in operation. And on this side, we can actually open the treater and we only do this when the treater is off. Some other components of this treater are the discharge gate. So this is essentially where you're gonna dump your seeds after the treatment is finished. So simply uh, lift it or put it back. Uh, you want to make sure that it's closed during operations. Uh, on the other side over there, we have the frequency converter. So that's essentially the electronic component that makes your treater function. This is the main switch from your equipment where you can turn it on or off. And also where you can adjust the speed of your treater by using the dimmer. This treater also comes with an extension cord. So this is one more safety aspect of the treater. So this uh, extension cord really helps you to avoid any electrical shocks. So make sure you use that and uh, you plug this into the power source. You have different plug types in here. So you actually have uh, three different uh, plug types. So depending on the one you have on your region, just make sure you select the right one. Every single treater comes with this seeker here with this QR code. So make sure you scan that for more information about application and products. Simply pick up your phone, open your camera and just scan the code and open the information on your cell phone screen. While treating seeds, it's very important to do it safely and it's important to wear personal protective equipment, PPE. So make sure you wear long pants, that you have closed shoes, you have long sleeve shirts or a lab coat like this. If available, wear a mask. Make sure you put on some uh, safety goggles as well. And most importantly, wear nitrile gloves. Now that we have covered the safety aspects, it's time to talk about the seed treatment products and preparing your slurry. Today, we have prepared a slurry that can cover three batches of seeds. Contains cruiser, fortenza, and water. And our total slurry here is 1200 mils per 100 kg of seed. The water really helps on the coverage on your seeds. Now, out of this big bucket, we're gonna pour exactly the amount that we're gonna need for treating 20 kgs, which is the amount of seed we're gonna treat today. Now we're going to talk about the operation of this treater. Make sure the treater is off. So next, what you want to do is you want to dump your seeds inside the treater. Once the seeds are in, make sure you close your lid. Now that we have our seeds and chemical in place, it's time to treat the seeds. We're going to start the process by turning the equipment on. Then we're going to get our slurry. So this amount is enough for 20 kg of seeds. And we're going to slowly pour the chemical into the port. Once you finish applying the product to avoid any losses, just rinse it with some water and then just apply that into your treater again. After we do that, we're gonna allow another 30 to 45 seconds for the seeds to dry and for the redistribution to happen within the seeds. Remember to always turn off your equipment before you open the discharge gates. Similarly, we can treat rice on this treater. So the same process applies. Now that we're done with the treatments, it's time for a cleanup. Cleaning is very important in order to maintain your treater throughout time. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure the treater is off. And also we're gonna make sure we're gonna unplug it from power source. Then we can simply use water in order to clean this treater. 
or we can actually use a solution of water plus an all-purpose cleaning product. Usually nine parts of water and one part of cleaning solution is enough. So what you don't want to do is actually to open your treater and pour lots of water in there. This can actually damage the equipment because the water might go into the motor shaft and that will burn your equipment. So instead, you want to get a spray uh, and with that, you, you just want to spray uh, small amounts of the cleaning solution into the treater. So then what we're going to do is unsecure the lids. And at this time, our machine is off and uh, unplugged from the power source. We're going to lift this lid and put it aside. So ideally, you want to clean the treater right after you finish your treatments. Now we have full access into treating bowl, making it much more easier to clean. Grab your treating solution and then just squeeze some little bits where you have the contamination. Once the cleaning solution has act, it's time to grab some paper towels and to scrub the residue out of it. It's important to clean the discharge chutes as well. So just make sure you squeeze some product in there, use a paper towel and just clean the excess residue in the treater. So the last piece we need to clean is actually the chemical port here. So we wanna make sure we give a good rinse in there as well. So remember, treating seed safely is your responsibility. Make sure you do follow our protocols and guidelines. Always read product labels. Remember to find a proper location for performing seed treatments. That location should be away from children, pets, and any food sources. Good luck on your treating season. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Remember, if you have any questions, reach out to a seed care representative or any seed care institute personnel. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video.